Okay, welcome back to the Fly Pro X Jaguar build. This is what it looks like in its final form, and it looks pretty crazy, if I'm honest. I'm really wanting to go and try this out, uh, but I thought I'd make this video uh, just before, or at least this part of the video before I went and flew it, uh, so you can see what it looks like and nice and clean. So we're going to pick up from where we left off last time. Uh, I've gone ahead and attached the motors, as you'll be able to see from this picture, and also the motor housing on there. Uh, just put that underneath the motors and then attach the four screws on the bottom. You'll see that the motor wires are really a bit long. I think Fly Pro should have probably trimmed this, uh, Maybe they will in future releases um, because, you know, this is a stock build. So, you know, they should really trim the wires so that they're the right length. But nevertheless, I've uh, lazily kept mine folded up because uh, I didn't want to trim them for the purposes of this video. But I probably will go back and trim them. Uh, so, you know, do, do what you want. There's room on the arms for you to not trim them and just tape it down. Um, but I just that's what I decided to do. Uh, so you want to go ahead and tin your pads, as you'll see I've been able to do uh, on here. So uh, tin each motor pad and then... You'll see when you're putting the motors up that they are all uh, identical. It doesn't matter which one is counterclockwise or clockwise. Uh, but you want to swap two of the wires over when you're soldering up on these two motors. So solder the other two up normally, you know, one wire to each channel in the, in the row of uh, three. But when you're doing these two motors, you want to swap over... Um, one of the two wires and then keep the third one uh, where it should be on the end um, and that is basically going to change the direction uh, of the uh, motors when they spin um, so that your drone will be able to lift off. Okay, so now we have our motors on. They're all soldered up onto the uh, PDB. Uh, now we're going to build the head and put the camera and the video transmitter on. So we're going to get the mount for the uh, camera and basically you can choose any of these uh, little slots that you can attach it to and then you want to be using this bag of uh, screws and bolts to attach it on there. Whoops. Uh, to attach it on there. Next up we want to add this little pigtail antenna. This is going to poke out through the top. Uh, just like that and then we're going to attach our mushroom antenna or whatever we want to use onto the top of here like that. So there we go, that's that bit done, we can now add the camera. So you're going to um, want to go ahead and attach this black, yellow and red wire, that's going to go into the top left port on here, we're not going to use this port um, for the time being, and then go ahead and pop that camera into the holder like that. So that's clicked in and it's free to move, we can now go ahead and um, put some screws in here and fix the angle of it. You're going to want to use this, uh, the rest of this bag, there's two more, well four more screws in here, uh, you want to use two more of them uh, to attach the camera angle. So there we go, the camera angle is now fixed, no need to over tighten those because you'll probably want to change the camera angle at some point, and that is the camera plate done. Okay, so now we've got our main body and we've got the head uh, with the camera on it and the wires for the camera, the LED and the video transmitter. Um, so we're going to go ahead and wire these up and put this head on. Uh, basically, this is the back of the drone, so you want the camera and uh, the head of it facing forward. Um, so if we take a little look at the top of the drone, you'll see we've got this um, tiny little circle piece here. And this is actually where the video transmission antenna is going to go, you'll see it's a circle there as well, uh, that is going to go on there. The red, white, sorry, red, yellow and black one from the camera uh, is going to go on this port here, and then the one from the LEDs is going to go down into the back there. So let's go ahead and wire it up and put the top on. Alright, so after a lot of faffing about, I've finally come to what I think is the uh, the best option for the receiver. We've got it plugged in here at the back and we're using one wire per channel because for some reason I can't seem to get SBUS working on this. Um, so for now I'm just going to do it one wire per channel like this. Uh, using the X8R receiver and you'll see what I've done here is mounted it on the top uh, with a little zip tie. That's because, you know, these um, blades are cutting it so close to the side I can't put it here or on the back or on the side there um, or anywhere in this front bit. I thought about maybe having it on the bottom but then that's just going to get damaged when we land or maybe get impact from the battery. Uh, so this bit here seemed like a good idea. You'll notice that we've got, uh, if I bring it closer to the camera, uh, you can see these two little bolts here on either side. This is basically stopping it hitting um, the transmitter um, for the video. Uh, so if this gets bashed back into here, then it's not going to hit the transmitter. It's just going to hit in those bolts. So uh, we're not going to damage uh, any of the connections here. Although, obviously, we might damage uh, the X8R itself because, you know, this could land easily like that. Um, I'm not sure how easily that's going to be damaged, but, you know, there's no real other option for putting this on uh, and mounting it like that at the moment. So you'll see I've taken these uh, little plastic things off, uh, the plastic casing off the top of the two antennas, uh, and then I desoldered uh, the two um, sort of plate antenna bits. 
uh, put on this plastic which comes with the uh, Jaguar itself uh, and then re-soldered this back on and then you'll see I've got this little piece in here uh, this is actually a dual piece that looks like this so we can have three antennas going out there uh, but obviously we've only got two wires um, two antennas so I poke that all the way through uh, and then you'll see we can poke this next one all the way through uh, and then we'll be able to have our two wires sticking up like that um, and then that piece is going to go on there like this um, I'll try and touch it now so that is going to go on there like that uh, and then I can screw that in and then that is what the antenna is system is going to look like uh, for our receiver all right, so we've gone ahead and uh, screwed those in, and you'll see this is looking pretty sturdy now. And there is actually some a tiny piece of uh, this double-sided sticky tape, so we can put this uh, behind the uh, antenna section like that, and then that'll just stick that in place. Okay, so there we go. You can see the tiny bit of sticky tape on there, and that is um, attaching the antenna bit to the receiver. Okay, so here is our final drone. We've got the uh, receiver on there. We've got the camera, the props, all the motors. Everything's um, all attached up. We've got it all wired up at the back with the buzzer, the LEDs, uh, the video transmitter, obviously, in the big tower by itself. Uh, and you'll see on the side we've got the port uh, for connecting it to the computer. Uh, so that's nice and easy. And other ports uh, for connecting more stuff up as well. We've gone ahead and attached the battery strap on the bottom. And also this um, plastic little... Um, non-slip thing so that the battery won't slip uh, when it's attached on the bottom there. Uh, I'm a bit worried about this receiver being on top and being so exposed because uh, I don't want it to break because uh, these little things are kind of expensive um, but hopefully it shouldn't. Also uh, a little bit worried about this because it's obviously only aluminium and aluminium can bend quite easily uh, so you'll see it's already got a bit of tension in there um, if I go like that. Um, so if we do get some big crashes uh, then I am a little bit worried about this actual Jaguar head because uh, it might who knows, it might disform a little bit uh, and maybe if it closes in on some of the components in the tower that might ruin it a little bit and make it hard to get back off. Um, so yeah, it looks really good. I'm really excited to go fly it. Might have to change uh, the video transmitter antenna on that, maybe put a Triumph or something, uh, but we'll go and see. Okay, so I was going to go out and fly, uh, but you'll see it's absolutely tipping it down and uh, it's just very wet and not really good conditions for flying. It's also quite foggy, as you can see in the distance over there. Um, so I guess I'll still put this video up anyway for you guys who want to see the rest of the build. And then I'm afraid I'll have to make it a three-parter um, and go and fly uh, the drone maybe tomorrow if it's not raining and see if I can get that video up tomorrow night as well. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.